YouTube and Visual Gaming Network and welcome to episode 26 of our Mario Game in Jar tutorial. Last episode we implemented a coin system into our game. This episode we're going to be implementing a live system. So before I start this episode, if you haven't already, uh, check out uh, my first ever vlog that I uploaded today as of recording this, but when I upload this video it'll actually be yesterday. But Anyway, uh, link is in the description if you want to check out my first ever vlog. It'll be uh, discussing 100 subscribers and uh, pretty much talking about future plans for these tutorial series. So, yeah, now I'm going to get into the uh, code. So, we're going to open up our project folder and go into our game plus. And of course, because we're implementing lives, we're going to create a public static int, we're going to call it lives, and it's going to equal to zero. Uh, actually, equal to three. No, uh, well, in more older Mario games, uh, there was originally only three lives, I'm pretty sure, but I'm pretty sure in uh, newer versions of uh, Mario Bros, uh, there are five lives, so we'll make that uh, five. And we're going to open up our entity package, go into our entity class, and in our uh, die method, we're going to type lives minus minus. Oh, actually, we need to type game dot lives minus minus. Go up, there we go. I just import game. And uh, you know, in Mario games, uh, when you die, it shows like how many lives you have. So let's say I have five lives, I die, then a little black screen comes up showing how much lives I have. And uh, yeah, we're also going to be implementing that. And uh, for that, we're going to need a boolean. So I'm going to create a boolean right now. Public static boolean. I guess we'll call it a death screen because it kind of like is a death screen. So show death screen equal to false. Actually, we'll make that equal to true because when we uh, first start a Mario game, uh, it comes up, I'm pretty sure. And we're going to create another public static int and we're going to call it uh, death screen time. Public static int death screen time is equal to zero. And why we put this here is because we want our death screen to show for only a certain amount of time and uh, this integer will pretty much keep track of the time. And uh, I want our death screen to show for about 3 seconds. And because our game usually ticks 60 times per second, that's 180 uh, ticks. Or the death screen time will have to equal to 180. And death screen time will be incremented by 1 every tick. So we're going to go into our tick method and uh, do that now. Okay. So under our for loop, we're going to type if show death screen then death screen time plus plus and under that we're going to type if death screen time is greater than or equal to 180 then then we're going to make give this a body then show death screen will equal to false and because we and we want to set death screen time back to zero. And uh, one other thing we want to do is that we want to uh, reset our level every time we uh, respawn. So we'll do that right now. All we have to do is type handler dot entity dot clear. And uh, actually, I'm going to go into our handler class and make a method for this. So. I'm going to type public void clear level. And in that method, we're going to type entity.clear and tile.clear. 
And uh, pretty much what this will do is that it will clear every entity from our entity linked list and every tile from our tile linked list instead of ha having to like manually clear each of them one by one. Okay, so now we're going to go into our game class and we'll type handler.clear level. And because we want to rebuild our level after, we're going to type handler.create level and then our level buffered image. Actually, it's image, I'm pretty sure. Is it? I don't know. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is image. Before we run our game, there are two more things we have to do. First is that we gotta go up here. And, uh, yeah, it's in our init method. And, well, we're gonna remove handler.create level image. Okay? And so we're going to go into our entity class and under in our public void die method under game dot lives minus minus we're going to type game dot uh, what was it called again I forgot show death screen is equal to true true there we go all right so now let's run our game as you can see we get a black screen but nothing yet and there we go. Uh, we're in our little game here, and where's our Goomba? Don't walk off the edge, please, I, I beg you. Alright, let's find him. We need to catch We need to catch him. We need to catch him. Where is he? Come out, please, I beg you. No, I'm sorry. I'm so oh my god. Okay. Let's hope this time it works. Okay, go, 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 there you go, as you can see, uh, we're dead. And there you go, as you can see that we respawns and yeah, everything's back to normal. Okay, so a few more things we got to do. If you haven't realized already, then uh, the coin thing is still up there. So yeah, we're going to get rid of that right now. So we're going to type if show death screen is equal to false uh, then g dot draw image game dot coin blah 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 whatever and we're gonna create another if statement if show death screen then we want to copy all this code where we set the color to white set the font then draw a string we're gonna do the same thing uh, we'll, we'll make the font size a bit bigger then we're actually gonna copy g dot draw image, and uh, let's we're we're just gonna paste it into here. We're just gonna change game dot coin to game dot uh player rights. Is it? No, it's a uh, game dot player. Then I think it's uh four. Yeah. Oh, we spelled screen wrong. So I'm just pretty much uh copying game dot coin just to make things a bit quicker and of course we need to change the coordinates as well I'll actually make the width and height 100 and 100 okay now change the X and Y to be about so the width of our height let's make this uh, 500 and let's say 300 and uh, I'm actually gonna run this in debug mode I actually forgot to explain what uh, debug mode pretty much is but I added a little like line of text in the last tutorial I edited it in to just explaining what debug is alright let's just change this okay I'm actually gonna cancel um, death screen time plus plus so it will like stay on the death screen forever so, by doing this, we can just uh, change our x and y coordinate of uh, times zero. So we want to change in our g dot draw string. We want to change coins to lives, of course, because we're displaying our lives. And uh, we'll change the x and y coordinates to be about. Let's make it three seventy. Uh, the y coordinate three seventy. 
and the X coordinate about 610. So we'll save. And uh, there you go, that's actually pretty good. And we're just going to move the Y coordinate down a bit. Yeah. I'll make it 400. There you go, that's perfect. Uh, that's a really good thing about debug mode. Mm, don't know why that's there. Oh yeah, I know why. Uh, we'll just uh, uh, this sort of this area of code that we copied before. We're gonna cut it. Make if show if show death screen is equal to false if statement. We're gonna give that a body, and uh, we're gonna paste the code that we cut into there as well. Okay, so now let's save, and there you go. So now I'm gonna uncomment death screen time plus plus. Okay. Alright, you can see we have our little screen thing here. Alright, we'll kill ourselves. And uh, there you go. As you can see, our uh, it showed our sort of like a uh, player and how many lives we have, but it didn't set the screen to black. So we're gonna do that now. We don't actually need to copy this. All we need to do is, uh, you know, what we did before with g dot with uh, g dot draw image game dot coin dot get buffered image. Just put an if statement uh, in front of it. So it will be if if show death screen is equal to false. Yeah. So pretty much what we did with uh, g dot draw image before. So now let's run our game. Okay. All right, we'll go kill ourselves, and there you go. As you can see, our lives keep going down. Yep. Now we have three lives. All right. So now we're gonna add a bit of a game over screen for when we have uh, zero lives remaining. We're gonna scroll up, and we're gonna create another balloon. And we're gonna call it a uh, game over. So public static boolean game over is equal to false. Okay. And now we're gonna go into our entity class and in our die public void method. Uh, under all this code, we're gonna type if lives is less than or equal to zero, then game dot game over is equal to true not false I was about to type false there and uh, all we need to put game dot lives because lives is a variable in our game class so now we're gonna go uh, back down to our games render method and uh, in our show death screen equal to true if statement uh, we're gonna create another if statement inside of it and it's gonna be called if game over is equal to false so this is pretty much checking if game over is equal to false and we want to show how much lives our player actually has and after that we're gonna type else oh I forgot to explain I just copy the code that we uh, put in this show death screen if statement and just put it into our if game over is equal to false if statement so yeah anyway else we wanna copy all this code again but we want to set the string to game over. Okay, so the string will be game over. We'll put a little sad face. Okay, as just for testing purposes to make things quicker, we're going to set lives equal to one. So let's run our game. There you go. It shows we have one life. All right, we'll go kill ourselves. What the hell? Uh, that didn't work. Okay, I did a bit of thinking and uh, realized it's because um, in our if statement, in our uh, if game over is equal to false if statement, in uh, our else sort of thing, we got to remove our g dot draw image game dot player. So just remove that. And in our show death screen if statement, we're gonna put and game over is equal to false. So now let's run our game. Alright, shows we have one life. Okay, we kill ourselves. And uh, 
He doesn't say game over. Did we set the font? Uh, oh, we need to set the color to white. My bad. Stuffing up so much here. I'm sorry about that. So yeah, run our game again. Alright, wait for the death screen to go away. Alright, we'll go kill ourselves. And there you go. Uh, as you can see, it says game over. We'll actually just move our thing over a bit. Alright, and uh, I'm going to wrap up this episode here. If you enjoyed, feel free to leave a like, a comment and subscribe. If someone you know is interested in learning how to program in Java, please send them this tutorial. And uh, if you have a Twitter account, feel free to follow me on Twitter. Link is in the description below. So I'll see you guys soon. Bye.